In this video, we're going to talk about things to watch out for. As we mentioned in previous videos, when you're creating your profiles and your paths, they don't necessarily have to intersect. But anytime you're creating a guide curve, you need to make sure that you have a Pierce relation. Whenever you're creating a sketch on a plane, that plane is, needs to be able to intersect with your profile sketch. In order to create a Pierce relation, you select the endpoint of what's going to be your guide curve, and you control select the profile. You make a Pierce relation. Now it's always important that you have this Pierce relation whenever you're trying to create a guide curve. The next thing you need to watch out for is trying to introduce too much curvature and too much geometry into a sweep. There are several other surfacing tools that are more suited to this type of geometry. For instance, the boundary surface where I made mention of in our guide curves video. So it's always important that you understand what you're trying to create, what you're trying to accomplish with your surfaces, and what tool is going to be the right tool to use. Now throughout this video series, we're going to talk about all the surfacing tools, so you're going to have a very good understanding of what each of them does and how they can be used when you're creating your complex geometry. Sweep surface is great for a lot of things, but it's not great for everything. So know when to use it and know when not to use it. For instance, if we were creating something like this, we could use our revolve tool, which we've already talked about, to revolve that sketch around this vertical line. We could also use the sweep tool by sweeping this round profile along this straight path and using this arc as a guide curve. So as you can see, we're creating the same geometry with two different features, a revolve feature and a swept feature. Now there are gonna be instances when it might be easier or better to use a sweep feature based on the type of curvature you have here. And there are gonna be times when it's a lot easier to use the revolve feature. So keep that in mind that you can create this type of geometry from a sweep and a revolve. But if instead we were taking a look at a path that wasn't necessarily a straight line, so let's go ahead and delete that. Let's create a spline that curves off into this direction, but starts out vertical. So we can sweep along this path, and we can use our guide curve, introduce the curvature. So as you can see here, because this is not a straight line, it's not an axis, we would not be able to use the revolve feature. We would have to use something like the sweep. You could do this with other tools, such as the loft tool or boundary tool, by creating sections and having guide curves and profiles and things to go along as well. So as I said, there are many different tools for each job. So understand the tools and understand how to use them and when to use them. Because if you're trying too hard to get a surface to work, then there's probably a better tool that you can use.